G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. Let's talk about smartwatches. Aside from being a product inside a struggling market, what makes smartwatches so unique and so important? Ask anyone who owns one and they'll probably say push notifications. So any calls, texts, emails can be sent to your watch via your phone, all to make your phone a little less intrusive in everyday life. And I think that's a very important feature because I think in everyday life we are looking more and more at our phones rather than interacting with the people and things around us. Other than that, what else does a smartwatch offer? Fitness and activity tracking? Fair enough. Music control? Yeah, I'll buy that. Using it as a remote for your smartphone camera? Yeah. And that's what it really boils down to. Around 80-90% to 90 of what makes a smartwatch useful can be summarised by 1. It sends notifications. 2. Has some form of fitness or activity tracking. And 3. Has a few other extra useful features like controlling your music. Anything else would be considered a bit of a bonus. So the product I've got today is an interesting one that marries the essential core ingredients of what makes a smartwatch useful with the old classical analog watch. So what you've got in the end is a product that has both the elegance of a classical timepiece but also the essentials of a smartwatch without many of the major drawbacks. So let's take a look. It's called a hybrid smartwatch. Consider it a middle ground between a traditional analog watch and an Apple watch or Samsung gear. Several companies such as Fossil and Skagen have adopted this principle and it makes for a really interesting alternative. What I've got is the Skagen Connected Watch. On the outside it looks like an analog watch, and that's no slight, since classic watch faces are infinitely more classy and timeless than smartwatch designs. There's no fancy display, no ports, nothing overly outrageous. There's an understated simplicity as with most of Skagen's traditional watches. On the case, there's just three buttons that will tell you different information. The top button tells you the day of the month. The middle button cycles between date, second time zone and alarm if set. And the bottom button can be customised to be set as either a camera remote, goal tracker, music controller, or you can even ring the phone if you've happened to lose it around your home. The watch face itself has two dials. One is the main clock, and then the second is a smaller dial with two functions. On the left, you've got four different colours. In the Skagen app, available for both iOS and Android, you can set which specific notifications you want to receive and then assign them a colour. So for example, if you wanted to set a favourite contact to receive special notifications so that you'll know that it's from that particular person, you can. With that, the dial points towards the specified colour, whether it's white, blue or grey, when you received texts, calls, notifications from that specified person. This can also be allocated to specific apps if you're interested when certain apps give you notifications, such as email or Facebook. So if you're on the go and you feel your watch buzz, at a glance you can see who or what it might be. Then on the other half of the dial, it's a progress meter based off goals you set in regards to walking, exercise, water consumption, etc. You can even set your own goals. So if you've given yourself a target of 10,000 steps in a day, it'll continually track this during the day and you get a cool little gauge of how far you have left. And as far as activity tracking goes, it's done a decent enough job when compared to other wrist-worn trackers. In terms of size, the hybrid watch is definitely thicker than most traditional watches since it has to house all the parts that go with it like the sensors, chips and motors. But compared to other smartwatches, it's no thicker than any of the other Android models and it's only barely thicker than the Apple Watch. Skagen have different colours and models for this type of hybrid watch. I've got the dark face with tan leather straps, but if tan leather isn't your thing, the watch is easily compatible with other 20mm straps allowing versatility with customization. And then there's the issue of battery life. Smartwatches like smartphones struggle massively with this, and it's probably the main reason why they haven't been as quickly adopted. Humans are a creature of habit. When we think of a watch, we always assume that they'll either perpetually work or at least last from months to years between battery changes. I can barely get two days out of my Apple Watch, and whilst model specific docks have made it simpler to keep charge, it's still another device to charge at night, and if you forget to, well, you're screwed. 
The Skagen Connected, however, boasts a life of up to 6 months depending on how many of the tracking features and notifications you use. That in itself is music to my ears, not needing to worry about charging it every night and then wondering if you'll have a functioning watch during the day. You can keep track of the battery life through the Skagen app. Then, when you need to change the battery, it's as simple as using a coin to access the compartment, pop a new coin battery in, and then you're good to go. So, should you buy this hybrid watch? Well, in terms of smartwatch functionality, it is still very basic, but it does nail the core features. It handles notifications well enough, and it functions well as an activity tracker with a few small bells and whistles. And then, it does all of this whilst looking far better looking than any of the full-fledged smartwatch counterparts. So if you want a watch that dabbles with being connected, but also looks really good even at a formal outing, then have a look at this watch. It could be your next favourite purchase. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, do smash the like button, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And of course, say good day, mum for me. Cheers.